the diaphragmatic muscle fibers receive their motor innervation from the right and left phrenic nerves. No other nerve is involved in the motor innervation of the diaphragmatic musculature. Each phrenic nerve arises high up in the neck as a branch of the cervical plexus of that side. Indeed, the most important branch of the cervical plexus. And having originated from the cervical plexus, the phrenic nerve runs down the neck behind the carotid sheath, enters the thoracic cavity in the superior mediastinum, crosses the mediastinum to reach the diaphragm. And on reaching the diaphragm, the phrenic nerve is distributed to all the diaphragmatic muscle fibers of its side. The phrenic nerve is in fact a mixed nerve. It's got motor and sensory fibers. The sensory fibers are distributed to various structures in the mediastinum, but the motor fibers are reserved exclusively for the diaphragmatic musculature. Very peripherally, the diaphragmatic muscle fibers are crossed by some of the lower intercostal nerves on their way to the abdominal wall. But these intercostal nerves do supply branches to the diaphragmatic muscle. But let me assure you, none of these nerve fibers are motor. They are proprioceptive to the periphery of the diaphragmatic musculature. So I stand by what I said. The motor innervation of the diaphragm is the exclusive function of the right and left phrenic nerves. Your anatomy matters.